What is going on, everyone? So, we all already know that there's been a lot of good news for us lately. We've seen that GameStop and AMC are really taking off, which could only mean, well, a couple of things, and we talked about this in yesterday's video, so I'm not going to discuss that in this video, but what we do need to discuss in this video is Jim Cramer. Seems that he's really, well, butthurt about the run-up in both of these stocks, and I wonder why. Is it because his boss is on his ass and telling him, hey, you better make these stocks drop. You better say something to scare these people. So Jim Cramer is coming out calling us basically idiots, morons, dumbasses. Not in those words, but actually, I want you to listen to what this bastard is saying and uh, you be the judge. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with Jim Cramer or maybe if you agree with me. I don't know. But uh, I do have to, this is where I have to give you my warning. If you've got kids in the room, please get them out because they're about to see a scary ass clown on their TV screen. Thanks. GameStop shares building on yesterday's big rally. This SEC filing shows that Chairman Ryan Cohen had bought 100,000 additional shares, raising his stake in the video game retailer to almost 12%. Last night he tweets, I put my money where my mouth is, well, Jim. Good for him. Yep. I mean, I think that the memes, they're back. I mean, they took up AMC, so somehow that's related. Uh, I think what we've lacked, of course, is uh, a plan. But the numbers weren't that great for GameStop. Uh, we still don't understand what he intends to do. Uh, once he lays that out, then I think we can make a judgment. Uh, like Bed Bath & Beyond, by the way, is in that one. That one, it, there's some technology that's needed. I was trying to figure out whether we would combine the two. Who, who knows? He's a man of great mystery. <laughs> and uh, But he comes in just when uh, when I think that the apes are like kind of desperate. It's kind of like Jane Good, the Jane Goodall of the apes. <laughs> Right, he's the Jane Goodall of the stock. What, they need some cheering up, and he they did. They were down. Yeah, they were down. They're a cohort. They care about two stocks. I mean, like, why didn't they care about like say like Amazon and Tesla? But they've got a. I, I would love to see what he's got. I don't understand yet. Uh, Matt Furlong is the CEO. That conference call was one of the biggest uh, jokes I've ever seen. No questions taken. Uh, what well, do they think they're Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett doesn't take questions. Please they invite uh, Andrew Becky out there. Uh, I just, I want to, I want to plan other than just buying stock. But you know, these guys, the apes just love that. They'll take it up. Bed Bath, they just want to plan. Yeah. Now, the, the letter to Bed Bath was actually pretty sophisticated. And I know that they've been in contact with me since then. And I welcome dialogue as always. Well, dialogue welcomer. Uh, ownership disclosures are uh, a lot easier to get on the tape than strategic uh, initiatives, well, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I think that, the, yes, I do think that the, he did fix the balance sheet on the backs of the apes. You know, they issued a lot of stock. They needed the balance sheet to be perfect. They have a chance to do something. Bed Bath has a great balance sheet. Now, if they spun off Bye Bye Baby at Bed Bath, and if GameStop were to have some sort of strategy that involved uh, being a crypto bank, which was my plan, You've been then, calling for that for almost a year. Well, and he'll do it, and then he'll claim it himself, and he'll just take it and run with it. Sure. He doesn't care that it's my idea. Uh, but, I mean, is there urgency on any of these things? No, because the balance sheets are good. Right, exactly. The balance sheets are good. So they have the time to string this out. Yes, they do. They can go on forever and have a lot of fun. It does seem like they're having fun. I mean, like, he buys 100,000 100, shares is nothing for the man. But there's a lot of chaos in the marketplace, and... There's a couple of forces. I mean, GameStop is, is a nothing company, a $10 billion nothing company that, that has gotten... I was, I've was i tried to get the apes to focus on other stocks besides GameStop and AMC. Who, and who, else, were, would, you, who else would you include? I mean, a, what other names could they potentially... A, I, got, I got 500 of them. Yes, me. I mean, they just... If they just looked at any other stock, I mean, <laughs> you know, if they looked at, I don't know, Brunswick and Sherwin-Williams, I mean, Fortune Brands. I mean, the fact is, is that they're stuck on these two stocks. 
Um, they don't even look at Chewy anymore. They could do General Mills a good quarter. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I no, I'm stunned that they just can't get beyond those two. Now, look, it's true, obviously, that um, Adam Aaron cultivated. Now, I want to be sure when I mentioned that oh, on NVIDIA that it that was rendered, it was Toy Jensen that was rendered. You've got <laughs> to see Toy Jensen yes. that was rendered. And yes, Adam Aaron should call us and then say he can't come on again because that was brilliant.